Hello, welcome back to the kitchen table for a mini update. Uh, excuse me, I, it's, this is well into my drinking time and somebody's asked for another video. Mm, very nice. So, I caused a bit of confusion initially by putting the thumb screws that come with the Rotopixel in incorrectly. Then caused even more confusion by trying to explain what I'd done and how to correct it and then tried to upload a photo that was just, well, anyway, it's, it's easy to do this way. So basically when you're, you've got your, your gimbal attached into the dampers like this, each corner has one of these little rubberized captive nuts and one of these. Screw with a very nicely 3D printed finger turny wheelie thumb screwy thing so on each of the four corners and i'm going to do it with this one for two reasons one it's easier to do because it's in the clear and two it's easy for you to see when you come to the ones on the corners you're going to have to sort of angle it in and as it says in the instructions maybe use one of the allen keys that came with it to sort of press it down and in but basically you want to be putting that in there like that Pop this up there, and if you squeeze it together, you'll find where it, where it gets. So I'm get, going to get that just so it's good, and then I'm going to go half turn, whole turn, one, half, two, half, three, half, four, half, five, half, six, and a bit for luck. And I had mine sort of hanging out like this, but what you need to do is basically pull the gimbal down over the screw and it should be a snug fit it shouldn't be a, a loose thing which i kind of confused because it was stiff it should be a snug fit and then if we have a look here you can see if we pull this down here there we go so we should have this flush with the top of the damper this flush with the bottom bit and then this is what allows you to give you give you some adjustment and you can see now having done that i've got a load of clearance which i didn't have before loads of space there so that things aren't going to go clattering up against there if you want a bit more ground clearance you can experiment with tightening up but rotopixel um uh, said to me that you know they found that six to eight turns somewhere around there try it if you've got some vibration tighten them all up a little bit or loosen them off and experiment and find the sweet spot for your damper they've all got a little bit of different stretch in it and but there we go that's what and you can see when you put it down like that loads of room here for the fly tricks to live in, mine's mine's always taken off, but it can sit either on the top of the um, on the top of the, the board there, or it can sit up on up on the the underside of the aircraft, where it kind of almost where it used to be, and it, it it's not too uh, not too in the way there. I might just make sure it's near the edge, so it's not going to foul any of those little screws in there. So that's how to correctly <laughs> fit the uh, rotor pixel thumb screws. Um, so as we said, uh, adjustment for, to get the right bit of the vibration damping, but even better than that as an added bonus as well. No need to get your cable ties or your fishing line out anymore because that is not going to go anywhere now pretty much. Hope that was useful. Hope that clarified it for those of you who asked. If I come across anything else, I might do a, um, I might do a video on how I balanced, I've now balanced it up. And as you can see, I'm holding it neutral in power off and it's, it's balanced. So it's ever so slightly Oh, let's do it there ever so slightly high but that's because obviously i'm going to put a, a filter on there which will bring it down to, to so it's, it's putting as least strain on the motor as possible but you can see it's also also balanced it on that axis and that was pretty straightforward so um i'm not going to do another one tonight but i might do um might do one tomorrow uh, as well as hopefully a bit of a flight video but we'll see if not certainly sunday so i um, hope that has helped and uh, thanks for watching I'll speak to you soon bye